Hey everyone, we are back with another hard level SAT math question. This one's a bit of a longer one, but we are seeing a trend of the digital SAT having a lot more longer questions uh, than it used to. So make sure to stick to the end of the video. So we have a rubber ball bounces upward at one half the height that it falls each time it hits the ground. If the ball was originally dropped from a distance of 20 feet above the ground, what was its max height above the ground in feet between the third and the fourth time that it hit the ground? Okay. So you have a ball that's dropped, that goes this, this, and this first distance here is 20 feet, all right? And then it goes up one, one time, and a half, and then a half, and then a half, and a half, okay? So you have this is the first time it hits the ground, the second time it hits the ground, the third time it hits the ground, the fourth time it hits the ground, all right? So we know that it bounces up half the height, so that this is 10, this is 5, this is 2.5, and this here, this last jump here, would be 1.25. So between the third and the fourth jump, well, it's pretty easy. We just match it up. So this here would be 2.5 feet. All right. Now, if you didn't drop, if you didn't draw this picture, how could you solve it? All right. If you didn't draw this picture, how could you solve it? And I recommend drawing the picture. This picture is definitely the best way to do it. All right. But we know that this is one half. It's bouncing upward one half every single time. Sometimes you could just do 20 times times two or times one half to the power of three, right? We would get one half times one half times one half, right? So you get one eighth, 20 divided by eight is equal to 2.5. How did I do that? Well, I can just multiply divide both sides by four. I'd get five over two. Okay, that's our answer.